In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Big Nickel Over G defense to absolutely shut down the gun bunch in Madden 21. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, we are going over the Big Nickel Over G defense, and I just released a Big Nickel Over G defensive guide. Um, if you want to get the guide, it is in the description of this video. Um, there's a link that's going to take you to a checkout page, but the guide is just 15 bucks. This is the defense that I'm going to be using um, at least day one of a Madden 22 because of the awesome look that you can give that allows you to send pressure from any angle it also allows you to have great run defense and the beauty of the big nickel over g is it gives you every bait every major coverage shell in the game with the ability to create other ones so this to me is the best way to be playing defense so if you have not already gotten our big nickel over g defensive guide i want to encourage you to get that in the description of this video now the way we're going to be defending Gun Bunch is we're actually going to be using the cover four quarters, but before we go into the play breakdown, I want to show you that our auto alignment is set to base align, our ball and air defense is to play ball. These are two really, 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 really important um, features of this defense. And then lastly, we're going to put our flats on 30, our crow flats are going to be on 10, and our hook curls are going to be on 10. This is a really, um, I think it's just a really fun way to play defense against the Gun Bunch. So what we're going to be doing out of this is we're going to come out in the cover four quarters and our for our base front is we're going to show blitz so you see this is kind of the front that we create now uh, what we want to do is we want to essentially run cover to cloud so what this would look like is we're going to put both of our outside corners into cloud flats and then we're going to take both of our uh, defensive ends and we are going to be putting them into curl flat zones really important that you put them in a curl flat zones um, as you can see here so curl flat so we crash our line out and then we obviously put these guys into curl flats and then what we're going to do is we're going to just man up the slot receiver onto the circle receiver just like this right here um, and as you can see this is pretty much the defense and this is really honestly my favorite way to defend gun bunch in the entire game so let me just set up kind of some basic route combinations one of those would be this right here this is something that you see ran a lot is basically this with the motion out of the circle receiver. And what you're gonna see is that the defense is just going to absolutely be locked down. You're gonna see that we're gonna take away this corner route um, with these 30 yard cloud flats. I think that base aligned, show blitzed 30 yard cloud flats are the best zone in the entire game. They just take away pretty much everything major that your opponent's going to want to do. So again, we're gonna see this, this kind of core front right here. Now, if you wanted to, you can actually man up the linebacker and put this the corner um the corner can be in the in the purple zone and then you can do something like that if you want to do that that's up to you it's it's not a big deal either way this um does a really 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 good job against things like corner strike i think corner strike is really the best play to beat this but what you're going to see is if i try to drop back and throw this ball I've got great coverage on that circle receiver, that motion up corner route that a lot of people like to go to from mesh or mesh, mesh corner uh, is, is no longer really an opportunity. The other thing that I wanna go over is I wanna go over these verticals, um, these vertical type of routes here to the square receiver. So if they send the square receiver vertical, um, I want you to know going into this that this is the best way that they can beat this coverage. Now there's a way around it um, but it's really important that you really pay attention to their tendencies because I will tell you from personal experience, it's very unlikely, it's very, very unlikely that they're going to run that guy on a fade because um, it's a short side fade. Most people don't do that. But if you feel like you, know, you wanna be prepared for something like that, all you have to do is just don't show blitz. So you'll see we're gonna set the same coverage up, uh, pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is we are not going to show blitz okay so the, the reason that we're just going to have better leverage so you're going to see that if i try to throw this this uh, streak to the square you see he's going to basically match on to him and there's really no window to be able to throw that ball another thing that you can do if you're really really concerned about this is essentially you can run the show blitz look and all you're going to do is you're just going to put the 
uh, safety on the backside there into a purple zone. You're going to shade your coverage down and then you're going to make your adjustment. The biggest difference is you're going to essentially create this right here. So you've got that deep half on this on that square corner. And then obviously you still have everything else that you want. You have your vertical hook, you have your mink. Everything on the right side is the same. It's just now you've you basically have shifted kind of where people are going to go. The only thing that that's going to do, honestly, is probably going to play a little bit better. I mean, it's just a better way to play. You're going to see the biggest thing you got to watch out for on this one is that skinny post right there because you don't long you don't longer have the inside quarter to be able to defend that. Another way you can defend this if you want to, um, if you don't want to use a 30-yard cloud flat, which I can understand, and basically you just want to take tight end crossers for yourself, then you can just simply man coverage square. Um, it's a very simple little tactic that I like to do. Uh, it's going to take away a lot of different types of things uh, that your opponent's going to do. So those are some adjustments that you can do. Again, a lot of this depends on what they're doing. Um, but I just want you to have some tools in your tool belt. So for example, let's say that they run something like this play pad sale, uh, where they got that post on the left. You see the inside quarter is going to just buy, just bad post routes. Like post routes are no longer a problem from gun bunch. So that's another thing that I really like about this. You can leave the outside quarter too. If you feel, if you don't feel comfortable taking that outside quarter away, then you, by all means, you can leave the outside quarter. You don't have to you don't have to take him away. The biggest thing I want you to understand is on the right side, this is the best possible defense, in my opinion, for defending any type of flood concept to the bunch side. It's really, really effective. It doesn't matter who goes on what route. So, for example, if they do some like basic flood concept to the right, you're going to see the 10-yard curl flat is going to take that away, and it's going to be a pick six every time. So this is honestly the best way that I've found to play defense against Gun Bunch. The biggest thing that I would tell you is your your job as a user in this is basically to open up to the bunch side so if you run the original version that i was talking about your job as a user is to run to the to the solo so you're opening up your hips like this and if you see a vertical to square like let's say you see that you see that okay you're gonna go get it you just go get it okay that's one simple little thing it's going to deter them from wanting to throw it i guarantee you but your job is really the solo receiver side. For example, um, if the solo receiver goes on a dig route, which is very common out of Gun Bunch this year, a lot of people like to use uh, these dig routes. This is a really good um, tactic that you can use to defend this. So you see here we've set up our coverage, and now our opponent's wanting to run this dig. So we open up, and then, oh, we've got the dig, so we're just kind of taking that away. Okay, that's an easy way that you can do this. Uh, you can play Gun Bunch pretty well. So there's a lot of different ways to defend this. I really like that cloud flat, um, but you have to understand your big pocket of coverage is really from the hash mark on the left side to the numbers on the left side. So if you see a crossing route, I just wanna show you something. One of the ways that a lot of people will run crossing routes is they'll do something like this right here right this combination i just want to show you what this outside quarter flat zone will do to that if they do that so again uh, let's just set up our base uh our base coverage here but we're going to leave that outside quarter just in case they run a streak so i just want you to watch what happens if they run that concept without a clear route that outside quarter will do a decent job of coming down and playing that especially against a, a deeper crosser that most people will run in mutt so you don't have to be like completely freaked out there's nothing they can do on the left side that's anywhere close that's going to compare to what they can do on the right side. A C route's not going to be an issue, stuff like that. So um, you can, if, if you want to play it a little safer, kind of maybe leave that outside quarter until they start hitting you with things like crossers or if may, maybe motion over a corner or something like that. That's just a way to kind of make it a little bit safer. But I'm telling you right now, it's the best defense that I've found for Bunch in this game. So I think it'll be the best defense next year, honestly, with the way that I've been playing the beta and kind of learning a little bit about what's been going on in Madden 22 with some of the patches and updates. This defense is still going to be really, really good next year. So thanks for watching this video. And if you want to learn my entire Big Nickel Over G defensive system, you can get the full guide down in the description for just 15 bucks.